Last week, the number of weekly reported deaths from COVID-19 was the lowest since March 2020. We have never been in a better position to end the pandemic. We're not there yet, but the end is in sight. A marathon runner does not stop when the finish line comes into view. She runs harder with all the energy she has left. So must we. We can see the finish line. We are in a winning position, but now is the worst time to stop running. Now is the time to run harder and make sure we cross the line and reap the rewards of all our hard work. Since New Year's Eve 2019, and every day since then, WHO has worked without rest to warn the world and to give people everywhere the tools they need to stay safe, save lives, and keep societies functioning. We have shipped millions of masks, gowns, tests, vaccines, and more to countries that need them all over the world. Doctors, nurses, and other health workers have relied on WHO's guidelines to protect themselves and treat their patients. With our partners in COVAX, we have delivered more than 1.7 billion doses of vaccine around the world, and low-income countries have relied on us for three quarters of their vaccine doses. We have supported countries to maintain health systems and services under pressure. We have fought misinformation and disinformation. And every single day, we continue to bring the world's experts together to share the latest scientific knowledge, monitor trends, analyze the evidence, and advise the world. That's what we will continue to do until the pandemic is truly over. In Pakistan, we're continuing to support the government to respond to the floods that have affected 33 million people and damaged almost 1,500 health facilities, leaving millions of people without access to health services. Even at the water receipts, the health needs are rising. Together with the Ministry of Health, we're coordinating the response to those needs by leading an urgent assessment of which health services have been affected the most uh, in which areas. We're preparing for and responding to outbreaks of measles, cholera, and malaria, and supporting treatment for respiratory, skin, and eye infections, typhoid, malnutrition, and more. The downward trend in the global monkeypox outbreak is continuing. But as with COVID-19, this is not the time to relax or let down our guard. This is the time for all affected countries and communities to keep doing what's working. Countries and health workers still need support to prepare for, to recognize, to test, and to treat cases and to prevent infections. We especially urge affected countries to share genome sequences so we can better understand how the virus is evolving. 